You don't need a CS degree, but should you still want one? Is it useful? Well, let's find out. Hey, Vlad here from devinsideu.com. Welcome to another video. As announced in the previous one, I want to make a couple of videos about jobs, so here we are. If you're new here, you should know that this is mostly a Scala channel, and even though I make videos about all kinds of software-related topics, especially tooling, all of them are related to Scala in one way or the other. If you wish to learn Scala, I have a free crash course here on YouTube, and I also have a slightly lengthy playlist that teaches Scala as a first programming language, which contributes to the point that you don't need a CS degree. Before we get into the video, please do me a favor and help me fix this. We are on the road to 10k subs, and it would be super awesome if we could get there before Christmas. Also, please don't forget to hit the like button. It's super easy way to show your support, which reminds me this video is brought to you by awesome people like yourself who choose to support me on Patreon. The money goes right back into this channel. It allows me to pay for an editor who frees some of my time, which I then again spend with you, whether it's during live streams or answering your questions on Discord. There's many of you and only one of me, so every dollar counts. Thank you. Cool, let's get to it then. We live in the information age, you can learn anything you want online and often even for free. And even though I already answered the question whether you need a CS degree, allow me to say a couple more words about the need part. There are two things we need to distinguish here. Do you need a degree to get the job and do you need a degree to do the job? Now, whereas some professions like lawyers or doctors, for example, require government accreditation, most software development jobs don't require a CS degree, at least until one of us drops the ball so hard that the government has to step in. Hopefully this will never happen, fingers crossed. Now, of course, a company can choose to demand a degree from you and some companies do, but for the most part, you're good. All right, now, do you need a degree to actually do the job? Again, most companies understand that programming is a skill that can be a Acquired in all kinds of ways possible, but there are exceptions, of course. Larger companies tend to like degrees, and smaller companies are more like, yo, can you code? By the way, degrees are more common for backend web development as opposed to front end or mobile. And another, by the way, I have a very old video that explains the differences between computer science, software engineering, and programming that you might be interested in. Cool, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about whether a CS degree is useful. Now, of course, any degree is useful, but it doesn't come for free. And even in countries with affordable education systems, it still requires a substantial time investment. Bachelor's is usually around seven semesters long, and master's is another three on top. So in total, we're talking about five years. In fact, let me tell you a story. I actually do have a master's degree. I switched to universities after my bachelor's, but both of my universities are in Germany where I used to live at the time, which is relevant. Now, Germany has an incredibly affordable education system. It's essentially free apart from a very small tuition fee at the time when I went to the university, it was around 80 euros. In fact, at the time I went to the university, a reform cost another 500 euros per semester, but a that's still very affordable and B, it was actually cancelled again right around the time when I finished. And you also get money from the government to cover your living expenses. At the time it was around 600 euros maximum and you get it for the duration of your bachelor's and master's, assuming that you don't take longer than five years, which is 10 semesters. After that you're on your own. So in a nutshell you get a maximum of 36 grand give or take over the period of five years and you have to pay back only 10 grand. Let me repeat that. You have to pay back only up to 10 grand. You start paying back another five years after the end of your bachelor's, and it's pretty much up to you whether you want to split it or pay it back at once. Now, why did I tell you this story? I'm glad you asked, because the topic of the today's video is a very popular one, and the first time I asked myself this question was all those years ago, but still after I got my master's degree. In fact, the reason I asked myself this question in the first place was because I watched a similar video you're watching right now. See, at the time, living in Germany, it was a no-brainer. Are you kidding me? 10k for a degree? That's a steal. In fact, back then I was like, do we even have programming boot camps in Germany? Because in countries like the US, where a degree is crazy expensive, of course you should ask yourself whether you need a degree, but that one we already answered. No, you don't. But what if I had to start all over again and I was again living in Germany and I was young and single as I was at the time? Well, here's the thing. In the preparation for this video, I actually typed programming bootcamp in Germany into Google and there it was, 12k for around three months. It's hilarious. Monetarily speaking, it's actually more expensive than a five-year degree, but it does save you 4.75 years of your life. So, there's that. Now, there's a notion of blogs and YouTube videos out there telling you things like, you can't learn in three months what you learn in five years, or things like, you never learn anything in the university anyway, the only thing you learn there is how to learn on your own, so at the end of the day, we are all self-taught. Now, even though technically those things are true, I don't want to focus them, because we have established time and time again that you both can be hired and do the job without the CS degree. So why am I making this video? Because if I was presented with this question today, given the same circumstances, of course, 
I would do it again. I would go and get my CS degree. Not because I learned something that I otherwise couldn't, but because we live in a world where a paper opens doors. Now, before we get into that, I would like to briefly mention this one thing that you actually do learn for the most part only in college, and it's how to argue and defend your ideas, which turns out to be an invaluable skill for a software engineer. You wanna use this shiny new framework instead of the one we're currently using? Why? You wanna implement a feature this way instead of that way? Why? You like tabs more than spaces? Well, friendship over in this case. The point is you constantly have to defend your ideas and convince the rest of the team that your way is the best way. Now let's finally talk about papers opening doors. Whether you like it or not, whether it's fair or not, bureaucracy runs the world. Just from the top of my head, I can tell you many situations in which a CS degree is very useful, apart from merely getting hired. In fact, none of these situations are even specific to CS degrees. Do you want to work for the government? A degree can help. Do you want to teach at a university? A degree can help. Do you want to work for FANG? A degree can help. Do you want to start your career with a higher salary? A degree can help. Do you want to get a visa in another country like the US? A degree can help. Do you want to switch or acquire an additional degree? Well, some of your credits might be transferable, so you don't need to start from scratch. Or in other words, a degree can help. Do you want to become a freelancer? Believe it or not, some countries like Germany, for example, don't allow just anyone to become a freelancer. A degree can help. To clarify, obviously you can be self-employed even without a degree, but you won't get the same tax benefits. Also, in some countries, going to the university, not even having the degree, just being enrolled is enough to avoid the otherwise compulsory military service, which unfortunately is very relevant these days. All of these are just from the top of my head when I was writing the script. I'm sure there are more reasons. In fact, if I have forgotten some and you know some of them, please leave a comment. So all in all, do you live in a country with an affordable education system? Are you young? Is time on your side? Do you have other responsibilities? All of these things are to consider, but you didn't need some guy on the internet to tell you that. In fact, now that we're at the end of this video, allow me to share the real reason why I'm making it. A couple of years ago, my cousin dropped out of college one semester before finishing. All she had left to do was to write her bachelor's thesis and she would be done, but she chose not to. She had her reasons, but the TLDR is that she found a well-paying programming job. Another proof that you don't need a CS degree. I called her right before she made this decision and gave her all the same reasons I just gave to you. But at the end of the day, it was her decision to make and not mine. I didn't manage to convince her, but maybe my advice can help you. Obviously, your circumstances are different, but at least now you know that it's not just about getting the job and getting paid. There are more things at stake here. All right, I hope you liked this video and I see you in the next one. For now, as always, it's been Vlad from devinsideyou.com. Don't forget to like this video if you did, subscribe if you want to improve the developer inside you. And if you wish to support tech education, please consider doing so on Patreon or GitHub sponsors and thus watch my videos before everyone else. And most importantly, take care.